Hi everyone, my name is Delaney Nelson. I'm going to talk to you about Peter, Paul, and Mary and the Civil Rights Movement. So Peter, Paul, and Mary consisted of Peter Yarrow, Paul Stuckey, and Mary Allen Travers. This group was formed in 1961 after having a meeting in New York. They met and decided they wanted to produce together. So they started producing music that were political, social, and cultural in content. Um, they began performing in folk clubs and um, at college campuses, which caused them to have a very popular youth following. Their formative years occurred after the McCarthy era during the Civil Rights Movement and pre-Cold War, so this was really a troubling time in the nation's history where people were looking for something to connect to, and music was definitely one of those outlets that people look towards and listen to to help them get through hard times. Um, so I looked at one song in particular called If I Have a, Had a Hammer, um, but they do have some other songs that I mentioned in my paper that I personally liked and I thought definitely went with the civil rights movement called Blown in the Wind and 500 Miles which you can also look at those online, but I'm only going to post a link to If I Had a Hammer. So If I Had a Hammer was actually reproduced by them in 1962. So that's one year after they formed a group. Um, but the prior release date was in 1949. and was by a different group called The Weavers. So the Weavers originally released this song in order to relate to individuals during the labor rights movement um, but the song didn't end up gaining a lot of popularity hence the new release and the new production of the song under Peter Paul and Mary so I'm actually going to read you some lyrics from the song and then we can talk about it um, so in the song it says it's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. So I think this song talks about themes like injustice, lack of compassion, and restricted freedom, which are definitely very prevalent themes for the civil rights movement. That's why it was so easy for individuals to connect to these lyrics because they felt like the lyrics were speaking to them. Um, the band did separate in 1970, but I think they were able to teach listeners to live in harmony and the importance of treating another individual like your own, like your own family, like your own friend. Um, and that the color of an individual of an individual shouldn't influence um, how you react to them or how you consider them in society.